Hey folks, Paul here and today I thought I would come out and get started on a new shelter. For those of you that have been around for a while you'll know that I had a couple of shelters up on the channel that I built. Um, but over these past couple of years I haven't had one, I had to take it down because some people came out and started using it in a way that was fairly reckless, that involved fires and litter and that sort of thing. But it's been a few years now and the uh, area has changed quite significantly. There's a lot of trees that have come down and that's prevented sort of footfall from coming through. I'm in quite a secluded area anyway, so people didn't tend to bother me very much. And so I've decided today I was going to come out and start work on a permanent shelter. Um, for those of you that have followed me for a while, you'll know that shelter building is one of my favourite things. I've never done like a full video on start to finish shelter making and uh, I figured it would be nice to try and capture the uh, the build process for use, those of you that are interested in this sort of thing. So um, what I'm planning on doing is building a sort of teepee or wiki up style shelter, so a big tall pointy thing and um, I would like to have a little entrance coming off of it and a little garden on one side and an area to chill out and craft stuff on the other. Um, that's the, the long term goal anyway. So this video is going to just be me getting started on that process. Um, absolutely bare bones, I've still got to clear the area I'm in, look for materials to start building with and uh, I figured it'd be nice to take you guys along. So I hope you enjoy this video series and I'll catch up with you along the way.
Okay folks, so that's going to do it for this episode of their shelter build. Um, I think we've done really well, it's taken probably about four hours to get to this stage and um, that's not bad going really, considering I'm stopping to film and move stuff around as well and uh, materials are a little bit more scarce in this area than perhaps they used to be because I've built numerous shelters here and I'm kind of slowly working my way through the materials but everything you see behind me here that I've collected so far has all been dead, It's uh, a lot of it's come down in the storm we've had recently and that sort of thing. Um, but what I like to do at this point normally is have the frame up, you can see it's pretty much done now, and um, go home, sleep on it, try and come up with more ideas, anything they might want to change. Now that I've seen it in the flesh, you know, I kind of, I was drawing this before I started it and I had ideas as to what I wanted it to look like. But now that it's in the flesh, I can really see what I might be able to change and improve. So typically what I'll do is I'll, I'll get to this stage, call it a day and go home. Um, and that also helps because it's important that you don't get too carried away too quickly. I like to leave any shelters I'm building or at least a frame of them up overnight, unless it's, it's for some sort of... Uh, actual use situation but if I'm building something long term like this I'm going to put a lot of effort into I'll build the frame, leave it up overnight, come back in the morning and hopefully not find it as a big pile of sticks on the ground it just gives it a bit of time to bed in um, if anything does fall off uh, we've got a bit of wind here just now if anything does fall off it shows me where the weak spots are so it's nice just to give it time to kind of uh, to settle in and of course it's my excuse for being hungry and wanting to go home and get dinner. <laughs> 
But I hope you've enjoyed this video. It's been really fun filming it actually. It's my first time kind of filming in this style so I hope you guys enjoyed it too. Um, in the next episode we'll move on to um, the thatching of it. I'm going to use moss and some, uh, you can see we've got a lot of dead trees or live trees sorry that have come down and um, all this uh, canopy stuff here will be really useful for covering it. So I'm going to try and do that in the next episode. I'll work on the frame a little bit more off camera. For those of you that want to see it and the progress I'm making on it in between videos, check out my Facebook and Instagram. It's just Paul Smith Primitive Bushcraft. It'll be linked in the description below. Um, but that's going to be it for me. Hope you've enjoyed and I'll catch up with you all again soon.